Thank you for purchasing our product. We're sure you'll be glad you chose our machine, and it will bring you much enjoyment in the fantastic world of sewing craft and quilting. Preparation Connecting the power supply. This machine is equipped with a two-way speed control for sewing. You can use either the foot control or the start-stop button to operate the machine. Before connecting the machine to the power supply, make sure to turn the power switch off. If you use the foot control, insert the pin connector into the jack. Connect the power supply cord by inserting the plugs into the machine and a power outlet. Machine Operating Buttons The machine operating buttons are conveniently grouped together for easy access while sewing. Start-Stop Button Press the Start-Stop button to start or to stop the machine. Please note, however, that the Start-Stop button will not work when the foot control is connected. The machine will run slowly as long as this button is pressed, and will start running at the speed set by the speed control slider when the button is released. Pressing this button while the machine is running will slow down the machine, and it will stop when the button is released. This function is extremely useful when precise control of stitching is necessary. Reverse Button The machine will sew in reverse as long as the reverse button is being pressed when these patterns are being sewn. To secure the beginning of a seam, press and hold down this button so that the machine will sew in reverse at the slowest speed. When other patterns are selected, pressing the reverse button causes the machine to lock the stitch in place and stop automatically. Auto Lock Button The machine immediately locks the stitch and will stop automatically by pressing the Auto Lock button when these patterns have been selected. When other patterns are selected, the machine will sew to the end of the pattern being sewn, then lock the stitch and stop automatically. Needle Up Down Button Press this button to raise or lower the needle. Presser Foot Lifter Button The presser foot will go up or down by pressing this button. You can also raise or lower the presser foot manually with the presser foot lifter. The knee lifter is useful when sewing patchwork, quilting, etc., since it allows you to handle the fabric while your knee controls the presser foot. See the instruction manual for more information. Thread cutter button. Press this button to trim the threads after sewing. The needle and presser foot will automatically rise after trimming the threads. You can sew the next stitch without pulling the bobbin thread up. If you use thick thread or the twin needle, use the thread cutter on the faceplate.
Speed Control Slider The speed control slider sets the maximum sewing speed. To decrease the speed, shift the slider to the left. Shift to the right to increase the speed. Winding the bobbin. Extra spool pin. Use the extra spool pin when you need to wind the bobbin without unthreading the machine. Insert the extra spool pin into the hole. Place a spool of thread on it and secure the spool with the spool holder. Winding the bobbin. Press the lockout key. Raise the foot. Slide the hook cover release button to the right and remove the hook cover. Take out the bobbin. Put the bobbin on the bobbin winder spindle. Press the lockout key to unlock the machine. Set the spool of thread on the spool pin. Secure it with the spool holder. Hold the thread with both hands and pass it under the thread guide plate. Draw the thread to the left and forward around the thread guide cover. Firmly pull the thread to the right while holding it with your hands. Hold the thread with both hands and wind it around the bobbin clockwise several times. Insert the thread into one of the slits of the flange plate and pull the thread to cut it. Push the bobbin winder spindle to the right. The bobbin mark will appear on the LCD screen. Start the machine. Stop the machine when the bobbin is fully wound and stop spinning. Return the bobbin winder spindle to the left. Remove the bobbin and cut the thread with the thread cutter. Inserting the bobbin. Press the lockout key. Place the bobbin in the bobbin holder with the thread running off counterclockwise. Hold the bobbin in place with your fingertip so it does not rotate. Guide the thread into the front notch of the bobbin holder. Pass the thread under the guide and pull it to the left. Pass the thread into the guide paths marked 1 and 2. Pull the thread to the right through the slit. Insert the hook cover plate. Threading the machine, A. Raise the needle by pressing the needle up-down button. Press the lockout key. Set the spool of thread on the spool pin. Secure it with the spool holder. Hold the thread with both hands and pass it under the thread guide plate. Still holding the thread with your hands, draw the thread firmly around the corner and toward you along the channel. Pull the thread down along the right channel. Pull the thread up around the guide plate and along the left channel. Slip the thread into the eye of the take-up lever and pull it down along the left channel. Pass the thread through the lower thread guide from the right to the left. Pass the thread through the needle bar thread guide from the right and draw it to the left firmly. While holding the thread near the spool with your hand, 
pull the thread up to the left, over the needle threader guide. Be sure that the thread passes the slit of the needle threader. Pass the thread through the thread holder and cut the thread with the thread cutter. Pull the needle threader lever down as far as it will go. Raise the threader slowly so a loop of the thread is pulled up through the needle eye. Pull the thread end through the needle eye. You need to draw up the bobbin thread when sewing gathering stitches, etc. For drawing up the bobbin thread, see the instruction manual. Threading the machine, B. Raise the needle by pressing the needle up down button. Press the lockout key. Set the spool of thread on the spool pin. Secure it with the spool holder. Hold the thread with both hands and pass it under the thread guide plate. Still holding the thread with your hands, draw the thread firmly around the corner and toward you along the channel. Pull the thread down along the right channel. Pull the thread up around the guide plate and along the left channel. Slip the thread into the eye of the take-up lever and pull it down along the left channel. Pass the thread through the lower thread guide from the right to the left. Pass the thread through the needle bar thread guide from the right and draw it to the left firmly. Then pass it through the thread holder of the needle threader. Pass the thread through the thread holder and cut the thread with the thread cutter. Pull the needle threader lever down as far as it will go. Raise the threader slowly so a loop of the thread is pulled up through the needle eye. Pull the thread end through the needle eye. You need to draw up the bobbin thread when sewing gathering stitches, etc. For drawing up the bobbin thread, see the instruction manual. Replacing the needle plate. Use the straight stitch needle plate when sewing straight stitch and sewing with the dual feed foot. Press the lockout key. Press the presser foot lifter button to raise the presser foot. Slide the extension table to the left to remove it. Push down the needle plate release lever and the needle plate will pop up. A warning message will appear to remind you that the needle plate is not secured. Remove the needle plate by lifting it to the right. Insert the left edge of the straight stitch needle plate into the opening. Push down on the mark of the needle plate until it is locked in place. Check to make sure that the confirmation message appears. Press the X key. Turn the hand wheel slowly and check that the needle does not hit the needle plate. Press the lockout key to unlock the machine. Replacing the presser foot. Raise the needle by pressing the needle up down button. Press the lockout key. Raise the presser foot with the foot lifter. Press the lever on the back of the foot holder and the presser foot will drop off. Place the desired foot under the foot holder so the pin on the foot lies just under the groove on the foot holder. Lower the foot with the foot lifter to lock the foot in place. Press the lockout key to unlock the machine. 
Replacing the foot holder. When using the dual feed feet or darning foot, you need to replace the foot holder. Raise the needle by pressing the needle up down button. Press the lockout key. Raise the presser foot with the foot lifter. Loosen the thumb screw and remove the foot holder. Attach the dual feed foot holder to the presser bar from behind. Tighten the thumb screw with your fingers. Push the dual feed link to engage with the upper feed driver. Lower the foot and the needle. Tighten the thumb screw firmly with the screwdriver to secure the foot holder. Raise the needle and the foot. Press the lockout key to unlock the machine. Dropping the feed dog. The feed dog can be lowered with the drop feed lever located on the right side of the machine. Shift the lever toward you to drop the feed dog. Shift the lever away from you to raise the feed dog, and it will return to the up position when you start the machine. Practical Sewing Selecting Patterns This machine offers a wide selection of stitch patterns and monograms. The flip-up reference chart helps you identify all the patterns at a glance. The patterns are listed in groups for easy reference. When turning the power switch on, the LCD screen will show straight stitch 1 has been selected. Press one of the icon keys to select the category. Select the group and select the pattern. Manual Stitch Settings This machine is programmed to provide the optimal stitch length and width as well as thread tension for the selected pattern. However, you can make adjustments to suit your specific sewing needs. Press the setting bar to expand the manual setting window. You can adjust the zigzag width, stitch length, Elongation Ratio Thread Tension and Foot Pressure by pressing the plus or minus key. Press the setting bar to shrink the manual setting window. Press the default key to return the settings to the default values. Auto Thread Cutting to cut the threads after sewing, press the thread cutter button. The machine trims the threads, then the needle and presser foot move up automatically. When you turn on the auto thread cutting option in the ordinary sewing setting mode, the machine trims the threads automatically after the locking stitches are finished. Buttonholes. There are various styles of buttonholes available. Place the button on the back of the automatic buttonhole foot and push back the holder to hold the button. Buttonhole length is determined automatically. You can also fine tune the buttonhole size by turning the adjusting screw.
Press the lockout key. Raise the presser foot lifter. Attach the buttonhole foot. Draw the needle thread to the left through the hole of the buttonhole foot. Press the lockout key to unlock the machine. Place the fabric under the foot. Lower the needle into the starting point by turning the hand wheel. Press the presser foot lifter button to lower the presser foot. Pull down the buttonhole lever as far as it will go. Start sewing while pulling the needle thread lightly to the left. After several stitches, free the needle thread and continue sewing. The machine will stop automatically when the buttonhole is complete. Press the thread cutter button to cut the threads. Advanced Sewing Techniques Programming a Pattern Combination You can program stitch patterns as well as letters to make a pattern combination. Select uppercase letter A in monogram. Select pattern number 19 in decorative stitches. Press the vertical mirror key and select pattern number 19 again. Select uppercase letter B in monogram. Start the machine to sew the pattern combination. Saving a pattern combination. You can save a pattern combination as a file in the internal memory or USB flash drive. Press the Save File key to open the Save File window. Select the location where you wish to save the pattern combination. Open the ORDF folder. The file name is assigned automatically starting from M001. If you wish to change the file name, press the Rename key to open the keyboard window. Enter the new name and press the OK key. Press the OK key to save the design under the new name. Opening a pattern combination. When you press the Open File key, the Open File window appears. Select the memory location. Open the folder. Open the pattern combination. Customizing the machine settings. You can customize the machine settings in the setting mode. Press the set mode key to enter the setting mode. There are three setting modes, the common setting, Ordinary Sewing Setting, and Language Selection. For example, let's customize the Needle Stop Position. Select Up Needle Position. To activate your custom setting, press the OK key. Care and Maintenance. Replacing the needle. Check the needle frequently to ensure that its tip is not rough or blunt. Replace it with a new needle if it is dull or bent. Be sure to turn off the machine and disconnect it from the power supply.
Loosen the needle clamp screw with a screwdriver and remove the needle. Insert a new needle with the flat side facing back. Push the needle up against the stopper and tighten the needle clamp screw securely with the screwdriver. Cleaning the machine. It is recommended to clean the hook area and automatic thread cutter device at least once a month. Be sure to turn off the machine and disconnect it from the power supply. Remove the needle and presser foot. Remove the extension table. Push down the needle plate release lever and remove the needle plate. Remove the bobbin and the bobbin holder. Clean the bobbin holder with a lint brush. Wipe the bobbin holder both inside and outside with a soft cloth. Clean the feed dog, thread cutter device, and hook race with a lint brush. Wipe the inside of the hook race with the cloth. Attach the bobbin holder in the hook race, making sure the knob fits next to the stopper of the hook race. Insert the left edge of the needle plate into the opening and push down on the mark of the needle plate until it is locked in place. Turn the power switch on to make sure a warning message does not appear. Attach the extension table and attach the needle and presser foot. Wipe the machine body with a soft cloth. Never use benzene or other chemical solvents for cleaning the machine body. Regular maintenance will ensure that your machine runs trouble-free.